All right, people, what's up? What's going on? This is Ease again. Ease chill. He's chilling on the screen of Xbox Live. And I've come to give you guys a little something different Um, in the kind of the uh, celebration of the new dashboard that came out. I just figured this out. It's been maybe an hour since I figured this out. Um, messing with my um iPod and, um, you know, this, this software that I already have on it or app that I already have on it. Um, I like to give credit to the app right here Scoople. this is a really good app it was a um I believe before it turned into Scoople, it was tech news and um this is basically where I go to get all my information about you know little things going on with Apple and any other phone that's out any um tech technical gadget that's out there you know there's the channels right here you can even go into politics I guess what's green movies celebrities Canada Apple itself and of course tech and um, this is where I got the information from. Um, if I scroll down, I'm in the top area right now. And um, where is it at? Where is it at? Xbox Live Companion Apps now available for Windows Phone and iOS. So if you have a Windows Phone, you're gonna get it. I believe any version that there is. And if you have any iOS device with 4.3 version or above, or should I say version 4.3 or above on your iOS device, um, it, you're gonna get it, and it's free. Um, this is basically the app that everybody's been waiting for that has Xbox. I know I've been waiting for it for a long time. This is what it looks like. You type in my Xbox Live or just Xbox Live up top. It should come up. And um, this is the download. I already have it installed. But um, let's get right into it. Um, I really don't do this a lot, but just like I said, and I guess in the uh, celebration of everything, it's just kind of, you know, I think it's appropriate. And for those people that probably can't get on right now with the new dashboard and having problems, maybe you have an iOS device or a Windows Phone and you know you can um Windows Phone 7 anyway and you can get this to kind of help suffice or you know kind of alleviate the garbage that's going on. But you do have to remember it's a lot of millions of people out there that um are trying to get on. But here it is, guys. There's the home screen right there. Just to start up, you type in your um, Windows Live ID, of course, and your password, and it'll bring you right in. Um, you've got Majors Minute, Insider Moves, Talk with Tina, the Gamer Spotlight, you know, uh, Featured Video. I mean, it's everything, you know. It's everything that is on the dashboard pretty much that you need. You know, scroll over. There's my social. If you have my guy right there just zoomed in, ran in from the side. What membership I have, my gamer points, my name that I put so people can see on Xbox Live besides E's chilling. I just put E with a little um, colon or a comma. Even my on um, my prop shows up. You know, they really put a lot of thought into this. I've got messages up here to check right away. I think these are on um, preferences. If I click on that or tap on that, yeah, there we go. I'm um, sign out, privacy settings, cancel. So, you know, it, they give you the full experience um, up to a certain amount. I mean, you're not going to be able to do everything, but if you can just check out my friends, even with the sounds, you can hear the sounds into it. Um, these are my friends that I have on here. Um, go back. Um, you can scroll through everything, my messages, they, they have all the sounds in there. Right there I can compose a message, um, this guy just sent me a message about the video I posted about the um, troubleshooting, De Sangre Fia, Ya No Sangre, I talked about Massive, um, my dude Lumina, yeah, that's, that's everything guys, everything you need. So if you're at work or just on the go with an iPhone or you've got an iPod and you're at work and they have Wi-Fi in the area, you know, you're pretty good you know just mess around and see who's messaging you or just you know kill time while you're waiting in line at the DMV or something I um, mean you can even set beacons they they even put the beacon um feature in there so that's pretty sick you know they it seems like they were just waiting for this to come on and uh, waiting for this new update for the dashboard to come through so you know they put a little bit of thought through it and I'm glad they did because it's it seems like it's right the first time you don't want them to do it the first time and then mess up but here's my um, recent activity, of course, uh, Assassin's Creed. I was just playing. Let's um, see how current it is. See how current Assassin's Creed is. Did I tap on it enough? Yeah, I did. Is it loading? Yeah, it's loading. It's loading up there. And um, I just played. I just got my achievement. Today, 12-7-2011. Yesterday was the 6th when they dropped the uh, dashboard. And it's there. I just got that achievement maybe an hour ago. And these are the rest of my achievements, as you can see, 9-7-2011. So yeah, they're doing their thing. They are um, they making sure that this is out to what it's supposed to be. Exit out of there just to make this quick and easy. 
um, scroll through the right and these are my recent games of course just go through there these are all the games I play they have everything like they really really take the t t um, took in their time and um, gotten things done they even made it kind of look like the Windows Phone 7 and um, with this search it um what's the name it um let's see if I type in Halo what it does is it really helps me to search for the games that I've played and you can check out the achievements it's not as much as a Bing search you know it's not as much as that it's just the games that I have saved to my Xbox on my um on my profile that I have active on here and shows you my achievements um, I think that's pretty much all I can do I can refresh on pretty much any page and um, I mean really can't ask for more I mean to have a Bing search later on that'd be cool too but this still does what it's supposed to do it's not supposed to be the full experience just enough you know what I mean I can't really be mad at that I kinda scroll through here I can even change my clothes that I have set for my guys so let me see change my style uh, let me just change something real quick for you how about how about we change the prop matter of fact go back because it'll probably take a while to see the prop pop up um, let's change his top change his top uh, let's put the save Carmine shirt on and boom just like that nice little animation check mark that yes choose my avatar choose new avatar and I guess this is the save button right here so let's save it Boom, just like that it's saved everything is set and I don't have to worry about it when I go back on Xbox live it'll be there and ready for me and that button I just um tap down there this is basically how to change up my profile info my name of course I put the E with the comma I kill boost is fun is my motto and um, on to the next one is the location I guess I don't know I was just in some mood or whatever but this is what you can do you can do basically everything you need to do with your profile here from the bio all the way up to your name and save it so that it reflects on your um, Xbox 360 console and that's pretty much it guys um, I give credit to that app that I was talking about um, Scoople for letting me know about it because not really I don't think anybody really knows about this I didn't even see any reviews on it maybe a small fraction of Xbox Live users which is probably what 10,000 or something like that know about this but I thought I'd do this for you guys um, um, hopefully like I said if you can't get on with the whole experience, maybe you can get this on your iOS device or your Windows Phone 7 device. And, um, you know, just kind of play around with it until, they, until it comes out in your area or just for your um, gamer tag. Alright, people. That's easy again. As you can see, you're chilling on the screen. Be easy, people.